friend and mine is providing price feeds for tokenized stock trades on a project called DeFi Chain. NASDAQ, alongside FinHub and Tingo, will be providing its price feeds to DeFi Chain, a DeFi platform built on the Bitcoin network. Tokenized stocks were getting just rampaged, and everybody's like, yo, Binance, you can't do tokenized stocks, you plebs. But that seemingly hasn't. Is there not a freaking. Stop legacy financial giants and decentralized finance DeFi advocates from inking new deals. Bloomberg reported that NASDAQ, FinHub, and Tingo will be providing price feeds to DeFi chain. DeFi chain offers trading and tokenized stocks that correspond to the underlying price of major listed firms such as Tesla, Amazon, and Apple. Tokenized stocks, similar to a now retraced offering rolled out by Binance earlier this year, can be purchased in fractions without requiring investors to purchase a full share traditional share for which custody of a physical share certif certificate is required collateralized by crypto removing the need for an intermediary can also be purchased in the form of decentralized loans <laughs> wow that sounds safe um yeah there's a he, DeFi got risky <laughs> uh available well because i mean freaking nasdaq dude i guess it's just price feed so maybe DeFi chain wants to be like yo we got we got freaking nasdaq everybody we're chilling but nasdaq like yo just give <laughs> we're just giving you prices buddy um nasdaq let's also keep in mind the creator of nasdaq was the perpetrator of the biggest ponzi scheme in american history is it made off yeah nice on you baby yeah, okay. working hard that's money working for you i mean he tried man he's just he tried to get leverage you know what i'm saying that's crazy that's i mean it's not that crazy because like the majority of it was during a time where like computers weren't super like used yeah but like that's what, fucking crazy what years was it going down oh okay i want to say i want to say he started his firm in like the 70s and then he yeah. got taken down in 2008 what was he wrong there but that's why doing stuff for 70 to to the noughties uh i like the well, he, 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 just, started he, just had a, he just had a hedge fund and he started with his friends and he was just like giving them fake results every quarter and he probably started off that way dude yeah i don't know i don't know like how do you fucking and he was just like a trusted guy like nobody like they audited him but they didn't audit him hard enough yeah because yeah. they're like it's fucking made off bro he probably made the nasty money on the back end too there's no way they were just like, oh, my guy Bernie. He's like, okay, obviously, obviously you're doing bullshit, my guy, but, you know, give me some money and we got you. Like, yo, like, even during economic downfall, I'm still getting 10% back a year with my boy Bernie. Really good system, dude. Good system. Dude, you know, what can I say? Throw your money at my guy over here. He'll set you right. It's just like, our team is awesome. You know, they're just really like, they're good at risk management, me and, me and the team. I call them my little, my little Bernies. They're really burn the market you know what i'm saying until you need to pull your money out but i mean it's not that far-fetched dude for especially like 70s like cats were doing stocks like 20s and 30s and 40s and i was reading a book about hog prices and like railroad stocks in like the 1880s and stuff this guy was mm -hmm. calling out projections and stuff it was crazy but i i just assume people can just get yanked off in the 70s Available to trade 24-7, purchase of a tokenized stock does not confer ownership of the underlying asset to the holder, but rather allows them to potentially profit from the asset's mo price movement. That's what a lot of young people only care about is the price movement. Kinda. That money, maybe. I guess you you could say the ownership of the stock is really the only thing that's like valuable, but... And like, what's it backed by? The decentralized stock trading system offered by DeFi Chain makes use of its native token DFI, wink wink, I don't know, maybe, as well as Bitcoin and the United States dollar peg stablecoin USDC. <laughs> I think Tether got super far off from $1 the other day. Tether crazy. The platform's co-founder, Julian Hosp. Mr. Hosp. Is Julian a female name? 
said that the offering will open the door to many people who are frustrated by traditional markets. <laughs> They're saying, yo, I can't 6x my leverage here, NASDAQ. Let me get it. It advocates like Haas will increasingly need to contend with increased intention regulators are paying to the DeFi space. Crazy. Let's see what's good with it, dude. Julian Hosp, this guy right here, bro, said, hey, these people want, these people want debt via stock. Let's give it to them, baby, America. These people want DeFi. Not even America, but like the America ideal on steroids of do whatever the fuck you want. Co-founder of Cake, dude? Oh, I didn't know that. I think I know Cake. Cake DeFi? My friend was telling me that Cake APR is wild. Like, is it? I got, if you yeah, want a, if you if you want a crazy uh, if you want a crazy DeFi project, I can put you in a direction. I'm sorry, is that 81? percent That's for their their tokenized thing. That's the native stock for this thing, or the native token rather. So if I buy that token, I get 81 percent back a year. Kind of seems like it. Why wait? Um, what? Why am I not holding this? Because it might not be worth anything, and you didn't know about it a couple minutes ago. Okay, this is so fucking. This is this bubble's gonna be crazy. It's a thing, and I don't know, dude. I, I like I said, I, I look at things, but like even block, dude. I think BlockFi, BlockFi, kind of you you put stuff in there and it gives you percent back, and it kind of has some brand trust i'm pretty sure blockfi had something bad with it recently yeah i think so cake i feel like i've heard it before but i Is feel like pancake also, swap people i i don't think it's pancake swap people but pancake swap i know for sure cake i might be uh switching it up with cake Pancake swap just chilling over there on the Binance smart chain. Which is a crazy project. Just Binancing it up. That's nasty. But I'm pretty freaking interested. In this. I, I feel like the wording of this is a lot less like, yeah, we have traditional stock markets behind this and more like NASDAQ is giving us a data feed. But I mean, look at this guy. He wouldn't want you to crash everything. <laughs> Fresh from his job at T-Mobile. <laughs> Does he even have a Wikipedia, bro? Bettina Haas? What's her deal? Where do you see that? Spouse? I'm not seeing it. To the right? Oh. Bettina. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. This chick is into money, bro. <laughs> Tina, you know she has a course on personal finance. <laughs> this chick loves just personal finance. Yeah, she has. A I see the VP of course. operations on cake, dude. You think they got married before or after? I don't know, but damn, out of Singapore. Okay, Singapore is crazy over there with uh, cryptocurrency. She so he probably had a virtual assistant, and then you married her. And <laughs> we moved her out to the states. She doesn't look super Singaporean. Singapore's beautiful. I want to go. Singapore okay. is a lot of people's tax safe havens. I really gotta take a shit. So, All right, dude. Let's wrap it up. Let's wrap it Come up. Come on, everybody. Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening, everybody. Take